Hey guys, what is up? I'm going to show you how to do my AFK pit build. Uh, I recently have built this, but I have it. I have tested it enough to know that it is what I call AFK, or mainly AFK. For me, it is. I've only had, I've only had one issue on 26, you know, a random way, but it was just a little issue. It was a little assassinous phasing through a wall right here, something like that. But the the design is about the same as my my actual build. I made a little bit bigger stuff like that. So I'm gonna get started with it. So we're gonna start off with the we'll start with the block off over here. If we don't have to touch this ever again. So from this little um, this little terrain right here, you're gonna edit a floor tiles like this. One, two, three, just like that. We're gonna come over here. So where it starts the brown right here. Edit a floor like this. Edit these again. Go one, two back, and go two over, just like that. And they go half floors like that in, in the front. This should make the lava bomb shift up here, or it should shift down here. Either or, like in this little general area. Which I don't know why it shifts down here, but if that's if you have a messed up lava bomb. Uh, then we're going to surround this whole thing. We're going to go four walls over. I'm going to go straight back. You're going to keep walls over here for the assassin hus. Don't want to uh, just break this wall and just walk walk up over here because they can uh no they can't actually i just keep the walls here because i have the structures you know i have a wall here i uh, know i didn't have a wall here yeah i didn't have a wall there okay my bad i had one here because this ass husk can get to that little crack um and then put two walls here two cones edit the cones into ramps just like that two walls get a wall right here, a wall back here, and edit a cone facing towards the north or the southwest. And let's round this as well. So all these cones are facing towards the southwest. The bomb should go there. And you surround them all with walls. This should be a ramp. So should all these over here. Uh, edit a cone facing towards the west. You basically surround all that. These right here, these can be ramps as well with walls around them. Just like that. A little bit of something like that. So we're going to go in front of this and put walls all the way across here until you get to this terrain. Put floor tiles going all the way across until you get back to where you started this little block off that I said. Edit all of these floors like this. Then put a little half wall right there and one over here as well. This is for an extra block off layer if they don't want to hit this and then go through. But we're going to put stuff in the back wall later. So up here is going to be three floor tiles, three cones, two walls, a cone, make the cone facing towards the northwest, and surround that. And then from back here, you're going to go from these two tiles, just put place cones two back, this one facing towards the southwest, this one facing towards the northwest. Same with over here, southwest, northwest, and then surround them. Just like that. All, we're going to have cones going all the way over here. Uh, we're gonna go back one more unit over here. Make sure all of these are facing towards the uh, southwest. And then surround all of them with walls. You can put two cones here. Make sure this one's facing towards the northwest and this one's facing towards the southwest. And surround those as well. Because I, I tend to have an issue if I don't put these here. I still want to come up here. I don't know why. I, that's, that's the only issue I really had. So I started doing that. So now we're going to do the basic tunnel, the base tunnel layout. We're going to put a wall here, here. We're going to put a floor tile here, edit it into a half floor, a cone, a wall behind that, and a wall right here. That's going to be a block off where they don't want to walk down here and they would actually want to go up here. So put a floor tile here, 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 and then put two over here. Then go back one, two, three. And that is going to be your base layout of the tunnel. So the tunnel is going to be basically everything in here. Put two walls back here, and this follow this with walls. Put a wall right here, here, and here. You don't need one here, actually. Come back behind this. We're going to put floor tiles right here. Edit them into a half floor like that. Not like that one, like this one. Come down here. Put a wall here, two walls here. Two floor tiles, and make them half. Half edited. Come back here, put two floor tiles, make them half edited, two cones and two ramps, and then put two walls behind them. So under here, uh, 
I surround these with walls and I surround walls over here as well. For this side, this is where the tunnel goes in. So one, two, and then it goes down terrain. And then the same with over here. There's one as well that goes down. But I, I made this one go down two units instead of one, just like that. Or they don't want to break the floor tile and go down. So they'd actually want to follow the pathy. Then I put a wall here and here. One here and here. Put a wall here and three cones. This one facing towards the northwest. This one facing towards the west. This one facing towards the southwest. Then I put walls behind them as well. That's me personally. That's what I did. Uh, I don't think you need to have those walls there, but I did that. So we're going to put a floor tile here or a ramp. One right here, 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 and here. This is going to be making the hus wanting to walk down straight down this thing. I put a floor here. I'll tell you why in a bit. Uh, then we're going to go up here. Actually, okay. Now we're going to do the lava shield part. So edit your cones into ramps. One right here. One right here. We're going to edit this one just to make sure it diagonals out. Go one, two. One, two. Make sure this is edited into a cone facing towards the southwest. Put it right there. One right here. And a floor tile here. Then we're going to go out one unit. Two. We're going to make sure this is facing towards the southwest. Go one, two, three over. I'm going to go down one unit. And this one's going to go over one. So the next we're going to have is one, two, three. Just like that. And we're going to have this one into like this. Sorry, there you go. Like that. So, all the husks are going to be pathed down over there. Or they're going to be launched over there, and this is for the lobbers and flingers that want to throw, because they're going to be... They're going to just... All the husks are going to be stuck down here, and the only way they would do is despawn themselves. And that's what they would basically do. So next would be the 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 the, the, the how we're down here. So we're gonna drop down, put a floor tile here, here. This uh this is for another video. I can't tell you yet. Uh, this is gonna be a full four. It's gonna be half. These are all gonna be added like this. Just like that. There you go. That's what it's gonna look like. This is going to keep all the husks down here. I put a wall here. And then how we're going to get them down there. We're going to go come over here. I put a... Oh, I did that wrong. I put a wall right there. Half wall here. Actually, no, I don't. I do a small wall. Then I do a full wall here. Here. And here. This is for the husks will get hit directly into that and just fall straight down. This is to basically save structures for me. Alright, so next we're gonna have is uh, a pillar wall right there. A half wall here and here. You can put one, you can put a half pillar here. Or a pillar here. That's what I would do. If I would put one there. I want to put a big wall. Come up here. And I think, I think that's actually it. Yeah, it is. Um... This one you can edit it into. I had to edit it like that. That's up to you. That, that can be either way. Uh, so we're gonna start with the traps. We're gonna start with sound walls first. We're gonna use this one right here. So durability, reload, durability, reload, durability, increase building health. And there's a second one there. We're gonna use uh, four durability, one reload. We're gonna use a four reload or the four durability one right here. So the purple one. And the legendary one's gonna go right here. And the legendary one's gonna go up here. This is going to be a purple wooden force plate. All durability, the common roll or the physical rolls common. One right here. Here. Here and here. That's not placing. We're gonna come back here. This one is going to be a uh healing attached. Wooden force spike. So these rolls don't really matter as long as this thing is got roll. Or it doesn't do a lot of damage to him to set up the propane, just in case the propane's get by. That's what it's going to be. To. This will be another healing attached. This right here is going to be a two impact, two durability, two reload wall launcher. Right here. It's going to launch them into this, which the floor tile is going to be a two, two impact, 
two reload, two durability. Right here. These walls can stay empty if you want. Uh, this right here, just in case they do go up and just fall straight down. This is going to be a flame grill trap. So the flame grill is going to be crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, durability. So this will kill like the little assassin as they get like stuck in the sky or whatever, whatever they get stuck in the sky. So they fall straight on this and normally die, normally not. Uh, depends what they want to do. Um, this right here is going to be a three impact. Three impact, two reload, one durability. These, this whole wall is going to be a two impact, two durability, two reload. Uh, wall launchers, two, three. This right here is going to be a tar pit. Just sometimes get this. I haven't been recently getting this destroyed by the, the tornado, but I know it can. I just, just to remind you, it can. So that's all up to you guys. If you want to put them there or not, to be honest. So I jump behind this wall. In these four walls, I put increased building health. Anything with increased building health on it as a wall. I mainly put a wall, wall dynamos just in case a hus face of the wall. And that's there. In the back of this wall, anything with increased building health as well. This right here. Oh, these two walls, you can either put wall darts if you, or this one right here, a wall dart. Don't put one here because I don't want it to set up the propane. It Just in case if the propane just walks right by and goes through. Do not do that because I don't want it to aggro the floor. So on these walls right here, I put increased building health. Just in, just for the extra oomph, I need extra health in my wall, you know? I don't have enough crap to Let me get some really quick. 13. 1, 2. Mm. Oh. These front walls you don't have to do anything with, but if you would if you would want to put it, or if us do end up hitting that, uh, put these ones, the healing attached, so it actually heals if you want, or you can swap them, make um, the front wall increase building health so it does more damage as well, and then the other side's uh, healing attached, that's completely up to you. But I don't have anything on this because mine works really fine like that. Uh, this, this wall right here is going to be a 2 impact wall launcher. 2 impact, 2 reload, 2 durability. Uh, down here, we're gonna jump down here, this is going to be a all damage uh, healing attached wall dart. Right here. That's just because I want to. Uh, this is going to be a anti-air trap. So the anti-air is going to be range, reload, range, reload, durability, healing attached. Uh, down here for the amp design, I have two pillars there, two pillars here. Same with over here. I have arch arches like that. And then that. I also have an anti-air up here. That's all I have. But if you want, you can do, uh... T -t -t -t. No, I don't need it. That is basically it, actually. That is all. I have for you guys. Um, if you have any issues with it, just tell me. And I'll do, like, uh... Well, I know you're gonna have issues with it, because everyone, everyone else's base is different. In a way. So, that's basically all I can say, really. So... Um, if, if you do have any issues, find that issues out. You can either record him and send him to the Discord, or the Discord will be linked in the description. Um, uh, then I will tell you what you can do to fix it and make it fully AFK. That's completely up to you. If you want to, just make sure you have the recording. Um, and that is it. I will see you guys. Uh, stay nature.